Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, work's, work's been really pretty hectic and the last week I've been feeling pretty unwell. Um, hope I'm starting to get better now. I'm still not 100%, but yeah, I, I, just had a, I don't, don't actually know. I've been to the doctors, I've had a blood test. Find the results next week. Um, yeah, just feeling a little bit, a little bit flat. Could be a bit burnt out. I don't know. Bit of a virus flu thing going on. So, hopefully, um, I'm on the mend. But uh, yeah, I just, I just really want to get some more videos out there, and it's been hard to find time and the energy, to be honest, to to set up and record some videos and talk <laughs> and talk about stuff. So we've got here. We've got Luke Skywalker's X34 Land Speeder. Pick this up. Uh, two weeks ago, um, from a store, uh, there's a chain of stores in Australia called Zing Pop Culture, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, they got this as well as Toys R Us, um, I'm not sure if any other retailers here in Australia have started to pick this up, probably Maya has as well, but, um, yeah, really excited to pick this one up, um, they have a great service where you can click and collect, so you can pay for it online, they put it down behind the bet desk, and you can just walk in there and grab it, so... I did that just to secure one, and uh, yeah, really impressed with this one. Um, I did the raise speeder last, uh, so you can go back and check that video if you haven't seen that one. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this one. I got to see this initially um, for the, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I got to see this at Star Wars Celebration. Um, and uh, yeah, I got to talk with the Hasbro design director, Steve Evans, a little bit about this. Um, I was I was interested in the figure because I could see he had a new head sculpt, but I, w I wanted to ask if it was an entirely new figure or not. And uh, it isn't. It's the same look as the standard box release that we've had in the past, um, probably in the last 12 months, within the last 12 months. Um, but it's got a brand new head sculpt and some extra accessories, which are fantastic. I love this so much. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the figure. So yeah, again, the accessories are so good. Like the the rifle he's got here, which is fantastic. I'm just gonna start taking things off of him as I go. The bucket hat from the deleted scene um, is fantastic as well. The head sculpt is pretty good too. I really like it. Oh, the eyebrows are probably a little bit, a little bit heavy, and the eyes are probably a little out of whack, but overall, I like this head sculpt. I like the hair. I like the weathering on the hair. I think it looks great. Um, I think if they had given the other look a bit of a wash like this one has on the hair, it would have, would have come out a little bit better, but I'm, I'm still really impressed with this look. I really like the poncho as well. You can just that just pops off over his head. This is a nicely put together piece of fabric. So you could probably use this on your Qui Gon figure as well, and uh, have Qui Gon in Tatooine scene. But yeah, I really like this, the range of accessories in this figure. But yeah, Luke, Luke is the same. I don't believe there are any other changes to it. Um, in terms of maybe the soft goods are a little bit trimmed up, or I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it too much, but. Yeah, as far as I've been told, um, just the head sculpt is the new part, which is good. It looks really nice. By no means perfect, but I think it looks great. It also comes with his binoculars, macro binoculars, like the, the uh, regular release of Luke came with as well. You clip that on his belt. And a, a lightsaber with the uh, pop-off blade. You can uh, just have the hilt hanging on his belt. So that's the figure. I really like it a lot. So now let's have a look at this thing. The X34 Landspeeder. To start off, it comes with a just a peg stand underneath. So it gives a hovering effect. I think it's really effective. It looks great on the shelf, just hovering there. Um, probably not the dynamic doesn't have the dynamicness of the one that came with race speed where you could tilt it, but you probably don't need to with this. You don't probably don't need to tilt it, tilt the thing on display. That does kind of look cool, I'll be honest, but <laughs> probably don't need to. Um, let's zoom out a little bit here. 
Now we've got some compartments. I think the weathering on this is really good. I love the dent at the front there. It's sort of weathering up the side. I believe the San Diego Comic Con exclusive had some extra weathering in here, in that vent. They just had some dark, um, dark sort of up burning marks and, you know, like you get brake dust on your tires, on your rims, on your car, sort of like that, that look to it. But, you know, I like the, the dirtiness at the front. You get sort of black marks and scratches there, up the back. Got a clip on the side here for his rifle. That simply just clips on. And it's quite effective. Uh, you can pop pop the windshield off there so you can get the figures in a little bit easier. And uh, they do fit in there well. It is quite snug. Um, a lot of people have sort of given this a little bit of criticism for a scale, but. Um, if you look at the watch, go and watch the New Hope again. Next time you watch the New Hope, uh, Luke and Luke and Obi Wan aren't overly comfortable. <laughs> they're they're sitting really close to each other, and it's it, it was a tight fit in there for both of those guys. So um, yeah, it would be a tight fit. I haven't actually tried putting both figures in there. Um, I'm, I'm going to now <laughs> um, after I've done this video. Just I just want to see what it looks. But there's a spot behind the seats there, so you can have C3PO sitting on the side. Um, with his feet down, and I'm not sure what that little peg's for. Um, there's a little peg hole there, and I feel like I've missed something there, so I'm gonna um, do some research into that after. There's a reason for that, whether it's something you can plug R2 into and holds him laying down on it, I don't know. But anyway, we've got some extra compartments, so that's nice. You can keep, you know, you can chuck Luke's hat. His binoculars in there. Well, you can't really fit his hat in there because it's not soft enough, but you can keep his binoculars in there or something. His lightsaber hilt. Same on this side. See a little engine component in there. And I uh, like this exposed, exposed thruster engine there. It looks good. that open. See, I believe in the San Diego Comic-Con version, you could actually pop this cover off. It looks like it's glued in there. And apparently that engine part in there is movable. But uh, yeah, that's tight into place there, but it looks like it's a separate piece. So they've um, just glued this one up. It's probably a little bit more cost effective for the mass market to uh, just slap it all in there and not have any moving parts inside of it. So, you know, that's cool. I'm okay with that. That's, that's fine. But yeah, that's, it's really cool that we get to get that extra detail underneath there. But yeah, really nice vehicle. It's one of my favorites. Get the back. Kind of wish they painted the back of the seat there, but that's okay. Sits on the shelf like that, so <laughs> can't be too fussy. But yeah, I'm just really, really impressed with this set. I'm really impressed with these vehicles. Um, <clears throat> I still haven't got the big TIE Fighter. That's just a little bit out of the price range. But these smaller vehicles are, are fantastic. Like, so many choices for smaller vehicles like this. There you go, get Anakin Speeder from Episode 2. Oh, it's endless. You could do so many vehicles. There's so many smaller vehicles like this in Ray's Speeder that they could put out. But, uh, yeah, I like, I like having a couple of vehicles in this scale. This is my first ever Land Speeder. I've never had one in the three and three quarter inch line. So this is pretty exciting. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. I'm really, really impressed with it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video guys. If there's any other questions you'd like to know about this thing that I may have missed, um, just drop a comment. And uh, anything else, just drop a comment down below. Your feedback's always welcome. So thank you again for watching and until my next video, may the force be with you guys.